In this piano tutorial, we'll be learning the song more than anything in the key of F sharp. I've done this tutorial before in A flat, but a bunch of you guys asked for it in F sharp. So let's see how it sounds in this key. And like always, I'll be going through sharing my approach to the song, which includes some gospel or jazz chord substitutions and passing chords. So let's start off with the introduction of the sound of the song. Sorry, that sounds something like this. Right, so what I'm doing here, I'm keeping it very simple, very similar to the original. I start off with a seven or a five over seven going to the one, right? And I'm playing this one as a suspended chord to keep it sort of very open since it's the intro of the song, right? I don't want to establish a major chord yet, so. Instead of playing such a full chord, I'm keeping it open. Then I play a flat seven over two, right? This E is a flat seven over this two. Then a three or one over three. And then this B major, which is the four, right? So that's a simple progression. Seven, one, two, three then four and then here we simply alternate or substitute this four for a five over four right this c sharp seven over b and then we resolve it back to that four so Then what I did here was use a 2-1-7 progression to approach that 7. So I did 2, 1, or this is technically, right, this is technically a 6, but I'm playing it as a drop 2 voicing. So it would be 2, 6, and then we're back to the 7 to continue the introduction. So 2, something like that seven one then this two as you can notice or probably notice i switched up the voicing instead of playing a regular e major i'm playing it as a sort of a cluster right here so this is the voicing i'm using for the two then we play a one over three again and then in this case i'm going to use a one four progression with sort of a voiced as a passing chord right this f sharp 13 to approach the four which i'm voicing as a b six nine okay so right and we can repeat that five over four or we can simply play this voicing right here. Now let's get into the first, the first, sorry, the first verse of the song, right? I'll play it first and then we can go through what what's going through my mind when I'm playing these chords. So. One, three, right? I love these clusters right here include that or we can play it if we want to make it more dominate something like this a little bit more altered right this five over four which resolves to the four right so and then this movement right here which is very common within the song Then technically we would go back to the one, but instead of going to the one, let's go to the six. So you reign on the throne for you are God. 
So what did I do here? I went to the six, you rain. This E flat minor eleven, rain on. And then I'm using this passing chord to get to the three, which will bring me back to the six. Right? It's all about that circle of fourths. I'm using this, which is the five of this, which is the five of this. Right? So it's all about going around that circle as a way to build that bridge between the chords. So you rain on, right? This is the F7. And the voicing we use in this case is a B flat sharp five. And the reason why is to maintain the melody up here. Then I get to the three or the one over three, still maintaining the melody, then back to the six. And here we play a flat five or a two over a flat five, right? So, for you are God in God alone. Right? In this case, we can either play an E9 or a four minor, right? Or a B minor six, which would be the, the original chord. So, Then something I actually learned from Jamal Hartwell was this movement right here. Because of you were right? So what he does there is sort of a a minor two five one, right? Or a two five one starting on the four. Because so this would be the four, but we voice it as a B minor nine. Because then we go to the five, which after the four, which would be technically a flat seven, right? Which we voice as an F sharp over E. So because of you and then we go back to that original key, which is F sharp. We're on the three now. Cloudy days. Four over six are gone. this three or passing chord to the six and then this very popular move a lot of drop a lot of drop twos right one seven six five then this major two Two five one. Now let's move on into the the second verse of the song, right? The second part. Usually people skip over this part, but I love this part because there's a specific um, chord that is used or progression. So we go to the five. <laughs> What we did here again, five, five over seven, then a six, seven, one, six, seven, one, then this passing chord on this flat five, then back to the five. And now here we're going to do a five one four, and I want you guys to pay attention to this specific progression because we're going to change it up a little bit, right? Usually we would do something like this, right? That's simple, that's easy easy to learn. But there's one chord that I want to include here, which goes like this, right? That passing chord right there sounds very sweet, and the way it fits in with the melody is what I like the most about it because. We're still including this F sharp, which is the melody. So what did we do? We did five, one, then passing chord, which is actually just a D over C, okay? To get to that four. Then 
seven, three, six. Right, there's movement right here to the flat five, then the, the most important part of the song. Now this chord right here to get into the chorus or the bridge. F sharp 13 flat nine, right? I, I remember when I first learned this chord, I was like, how, how do I memorize this, right? It's a little bit difficult to memorize the 13, the flat nine. So what I did was break it up into two. I know that F sharp is playing the dominant seventh. Then my right hand is simply going to play the sixth of F sharp, which is E flat as a major chord in first inversion, right? So E flat major over F sharp with the minor seventh. Okay. So that's that passing chord that we can use as a substitution for an F sharp seven or as a way to get to the four. So I love you, Jesus. So four, I love you, six, seven. Then here, that 514 or we can think about it as a 1 4 because we're not including the 5 now this movement right here can be done in two ways we can either play in e over f sharp right e major over f sharp then we resolve it to an f sharp 13 to get to the 4 which is an, a b major 13 or this other voicing right here is, is a very subtle change. Instead of playing E major, we play an A flat minor, which would be the two, right? So I feel like it gives it a different type of sound. Since we already have an E down here, we don't have to double up up here. We can make it an E flat. Just one. It's the same thing. Now there's a different change, a different chord, which I think I thought I taught it in the A flat version of the song, right? Which is where we're instead of playing a four, I love to the six, we can substitute it for this. I love you, Jesus. So what I did here was play an F sharp major add two over E with the minor seventh or the dominant seventh. So I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just one. All right, three to the six. B flat seven sharp nine sharp five. We make a melody to the six. basically the whole song so what I want to do now is play the whole song without any interruption I'll include a MIDI file in the description that way you guys can download it and change it to any other key um, and also quick reminder I have a piano course available in the first link in the description right next to the number one and where I teach 11 gospel jazz progressions and I teach it in every key right I include you can find all the information through the link um, hopefully you're able to learn something from this class and let's get started with this section of the video. <laughs> 